on today's menu, a delicious and easy recipe that won't make you feel awful. Falafel and tahini sauce. Lei Hong Ma, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Falafel is one of my favorite things to eat because it is absolutely delicious and it may come as a surprise that it's actually very, very simple to make. To prep the chickpeas, place one cup of dried chickpeas into a large bowl. Submerge the chickpeas with about two and a half liters of water. Let the chickpeas sit overnight. Half an onion, roughly chopped. Three pieces of garlic, peeled. Ten grams of parsley, loosely chopped. Ten grams of cilantro, loosely chopped. food processor. Strain out the chickpeas and add to the food processor. Garlic. Onions. Parsley and cilantro. Half teaspoon cumin. Half teaspoon baking soda. Two tablespoons coconut flour. You can use all-purpose flour here, but for today, we're going to keep it gluten-free and use a coconut flour, which will work really well. One tablespoon lemon juice. One tablespoon potato starch. One teaspoon salt. Pepper. Blend for about 45 seconds. Use an ice cream scoop to scoop out the mixture and shape them into balls. Repeat this process until you've gone through all the mixture. That already smells amazing, and this whole process is just incredibly simple. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like I do, then definitely check out that new cookbook, simply titled Cook with Confidence. This has most of the favorite recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube. And of course, to get your signed copy or to take a sneak peek look at inside the book, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out and get your signed copy. Frying pan. One and a half cups avocado oil. Medium heat. Heat up the oil for four to five minutes. Use a wooden or bamboo chopstick. If you see some bubbles, it's ready. Carefully place the falafel into the oil.
Try not to overcrowd the falafel and cook them in two batches. Fry the falafel for two to three minutes on each side. Rest the falafel on a plate lined with paper towel. Carefully fry the second batch. While the falafel is resting and keeping nice and crispy, we're going to make that delicious dipping sauce. Mixing bowl. One piece garlic, grated. Three quarter cups, tahini. Five tablespoons, lemon juice. Whisk. Of course, if you find the dip too thick, just add more lemon juice. If you find it too thin, just add more tahini. Plate the dipping sauce. Garnish with freshly chopped parsley. plate. One more thing, I know avocado oil is quite pricey, so you can actually reuse it, just let it cool completely, and then strain it out, keep it in a jar, and you're good to go. You can now serve this delicious dish with absolute confidence. It's dishes like this that gets me really excited about food. Look at that. Mm. That is just bursting with flavor. So delicious. What a treat. The falafel is really nice and crispy and visually it's just beautiful. You have the delicious kind of thick dip that adds kind of the acidic kind of tanginess from that fresh, bright lemon juice. And you have the tahini that adds that kind of substantial sort of nutty flavor and just really adds that kind of refreshing contrast to the meatiness of that falafel. I mean, making these at home is so easy to do and you really taste a huge difference because you can really taste the fresh parsley, cilantro, and the cumin that you put into that falafel. The garlic, the onions just gives it that kind of really nice punch of flavor. And I absolutely love how falafel is just kind of one of those finger foods. It's just interactive and you get to almost kind of play with the food. You get to dip it in something. And I mean, it's just crazy how there's just chickpeas and a bunch of different veggies, but you can fry it into something that is just, gets that beautiful outer layer and you can kind of just hear. Man, just so crispy. It really is just a delicious, amazing thing to make at home. And let me tell you, the falafel is just incredibly crispy. One of the great things about making falafel at home is that you can make a big batch of it, fry them up, and then freeze them. I would recommend frying them first before freezing them, and of course, letting them cool before putting them in the freezer. Absolutely delicious, so easy to put together, visually stunning. I mean, if you serve this at a dinner party, people will totally be like, you know, where did you get this? That is absolutely amazing. 
And of course, if you love recipes like this, then definitely check out that vegan ramen cookbook or that Cook with Confidence cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check these out, take a sneak peek inside the book. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.